Hi, this is Veronica Campbell, physical therapist, owner of Integrated Manual Physical Therapy. This is a section for eye strain and headaches related to computer work, posture, and the strains of current day life, right? We are continually bombarded by our TVs, our computers, and our phones with blue light. So one thing I do really recommend to people is getting blue light blocking glasses. I now need a little bit of a reader, so I have a light reader correction and a blue light blocking glasses just to make it easier on my eyes if I'm gonna spend a lot of time on the computer. What really is important besides all the posture pieces, if you've watched the other videos in this series, is taking breaks for our eyes. So our eyes are muscles too. And not only are they muscles, they have lots of muscles that control the movement. The eye itself is the optic nerve that connects all the way back in the brain. It's part of our nervous system. So we have the muscular components, we have cells that help in take the input of light and have to create images. And all this has to work perfectly in order for us to see. And hours and hours on computers and this tiny print is really creating some problems, and especially the blue light with eye strain that also can affect our sleep health. So if you're constantly on blue light, especially before you go to bed at night, it decreases the production of melatonin so you can't fall to sleep as quickly or as deeply. So getting off screen time early, an hour to two hours before you go to bed, I know, right? Or at the very least using some blue light blocking glasses and turning the dimmer down so the screen brightness is down and some screens have filters now can really be helpful when it comes to eye strain. But what can you do physically? So physically, there are different exercises. Um, what I'd like you to start and play with, and I'm not gonna demonstrate all the repetitions, and the numbers and reps that people do, I like people to play with and figure out what works for you. I'm suggesting for some of the eye movements, between four and 10, but you might need to do more. But know every time you're moving your eyes, you're connecting to your nervous system. And the optic nerve and the optic chiasm where they cross, crosses over your pituitary gland. So you're even affecting your neuroendocrine. So the whole body is very, very connected. So one thing I really like people do is periodically just take a break from the computer screen and look at the corners of the room. So if this is the only thing you do every once in a while, at least you're working with the muscles for accommodation, zooming in, zooming out, so that you're not just looking at one distance all the time. So you simply look up to the right corner and then you can look back to the screen, to the left corner, back to the screen, then you can look down to the right corner, back to the screen, down to the left corner, back to the screen. So just simply changing your focal distance. Another nice thing to do is taking your finger and following it and looking at it. I'm gonna get a little cross-eyed all the way in and all the way out and sort of coming into that place where, where do you lose focus and starting to play with that to train your eyes to contract and accommodate appropriately. You can do that on diagonals, you can do that with different objects. What I also like to do is take that and do a figure eight. So you follow your eye and your finger together in a figure eight all the way around. So your eyes are following your fingers in that sort of sideways infinity sign and then repeat it in the other direction, okay? So that is really nice as well as simply, you can do it with your eyes open or eyes closed. So you can simply work with looking up for a few seconds, back to neutral, looking down for a few seconds, back to neutral, looking to the right as far as you can. And you might notice looking to the right feels harder for me than looking to the left. So you might start to notice where one side feels tighter than the other and maybe work with that a few more times. And then of course, all the way around. So you can have an object that you're looking at and you can move that object closer or farther away with circles or any of these eye movements, or you can simply do it with your eyes closed, looking all the way around one direction and all the way around the other direction. And you might notice certain areas have more strain. So those areas that have strain, if you go back and watch the whole body nerve glide, you can start to use your eyes and then the nerves that connect into your arms, the brachial plexus and the leg nerve, the sciatic nerve, to start to detangle your whole nervous system. So you might need more of a holistic approach, not just the eye approach. That even simply working with this can help decrease eye strain and hopefully help with some of the headaches. Because the suboccipital muscles, when you're in forward head posture, get compressed. And they are very related to your eyes and very connected in terms of 
our ability to keep our eyes on the horizon and our posture and focus. So know that working with even some self-massage to your suboccipitals, little circles, there's no wrong way to do that, can be really nice. Those anterior neck stretches that I was talking about can be helpful. Simply rubbing your ears all the way along or pulling your ears out and doing little chin nods can be really nice because the cranial nerves innervate some of the sensation of the ears. That all connects back with headaches and posture and eye strain. And then I also like um, just simple either tapping, which you can tap some of the acupuncture points above your, your eyes, below your eyes, near your chin. So some of that can be really nice to tap and even at the temples, or you can do little circles there. So any of these spots, this can help with dry eye as well, especially under and through here where the lacrimal glands are. And then if you have a lot of teeth clenching, your mental nerve, which is part of your trigeminal nerve here can be helpful. And all those things, especially for strain, can contribute to headaches, which then of course feeds back into eye, eye tension as well. And then the other last piece that I want to mention, um, if you have a bad headache and you're sitting at your computer desk, sometimes it's really nice simply, there's three acupuncture points right here, above the eyes, below, and then the chin. And I'll simply lean on my elbows and put my thumbs there and do little circles at each spot. However long you need can be very helpful. And then the last piece, if you really, really just need a break, rub your hands together, create a little heat and warmth, and then put your, four, um, your, your hands on your forehead and your palms of your hands on your eyes. And just again, like take a nice deep breath, let your shoulders relax, let everything relax. Maybe even use your elbows and your, um, against your chest to cradle your head. And just that gentle pressure on your eyes Maybe you see little spots in your eyes, but just notice the darkness and let your eyes just soften and relax. Maybe even let your eyeballs just kind of, as if the palms of your hands are catching your eyes. And just let everything soften and take some deep breaths. And then bring your hands back up. And that's just a really nice break for the eyes periodically. If it feels like, oh, I lost a little focus, again, go back to the corners and just look at the four corners and back in. And sometimes, like I said, I like to even use my finger to sort of reorient my eyes. So I hope this helps you feel much better. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.